Hey everybody. <laughs> hello and welcome. Hey Mo. Uh, hello everybody. So hello Azure Fang, Chief, Sam, Tyra, and Mo. Welcome everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're playing some more potion craft today, so it should be a good time. Uh, where we left off, we were just making tons of money. <laughs> so I'm going to try and beat chapter 5 today, and then wherever, whatever else we do, we shall see. Uh, but yes, we very much forward to continuing. Uh, I'm just going to move the chat a little bit. Make it a tiny bit smaller. Playing Evo Creo, Pocket Monster Shiny Hunt. Oh, that sounds fun. I have fun with that, uh, Sam. Let's get back into some uh, potion craft. Yes, yeah, so we've played 32 days. I think we finished this day, right? No, I saved after I started a new day. Okay. Okay, we're going to play through a couple of days, then we're going to try and complete Chapter 5, which requires us to make the Void Salt. So we need to make... Uh, a few kind of tricky potions, actually, which is going to be kind of interesting. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Alright, let's, let's start out there. Ah, the dwarf. I love the dwarf. But what stones you're buying? Is it hard for you to carry all that? No. <laughs> I need a lot of fire citrine. I'm going to buy this while I have the chance. Buy... You know what? We just buy... I think we'll just buy everything. It, it, like, in this game, it's it makes sense to just buy, like, tons of stuff. Do I want to try the medium? The medium haggle. Nah, I think I'll stick with the easy for now. I can I can do easy pretty reliably. Oh. My game is lagging for some reason. I'll pay for some for all that. That sounds fair. Alrighty. Uh, you need a mana potion. Alright, let's see what I can do for you. So basically, for those who've never seen this game before, you have to meet people's demands. They come in, they say they want a potion, you have to make it for them. So I've done a lot of work already in creating a ton of recipes. Um, so it's very easy for me to do a lot of this stuff. A uh, potion that helps you hunt game, but I think the dex potion is the good one for that. Yeah, so I've done a lot of the work already, so most of the time it's just a matter of um, satisfying the customer's needs. As long as I have the ingredients for it. Mushroom Man, my favorite character. Hello, interested in any shrooms? Shadow Chanterelle is really good. Water Cap, that's not really that good. Buy a couple of Magma Morales. Mudshrooms are really nice. Uh, and these ones are really good too, so I'll buy a bunch of these and a bunch of these. Um... I think I need much else. I've got quite a lot of these ones already, I think. Shrooms, yes. My, the local shroom dealer. Um, I'll buy a couple of these too, why not? I hope them shrooms is good. This guy is cooked on shrooms, just look at him. Is that an expression that they have in other countries? Like in Australia, when, when we say somebody's like... Um, drugged out or something like that. We say they're cooked. Is that similar anywhere else? You need a health potion. Health potion is very easy to make. I don't ever charge extra for the health potions because they're not worth it. Like, I could haggle to get a bit extra, but if it's 59 base price, I'm not going to get much of a bonus. I just sell it. Uh, you need something to make your horse fast or give it more endurance. A potion of strength, perhaps? Okay. I'll give you that. I'm happy to to hand that over to you. Baked on shrooms. Uh, the tunnel leading to your village is blocked. You'll need an explosive potion for that to blow up the... <laughs> Definitely haggling for this. So haggling gives you uh, more money, or if it's for a purchase, it charges less. So I got 115 extra gold, but uh, minus one uh, popularity. But I still get plus four from meeting his demands. Uh, potion to make your eyesight better. Magical eyes. Yeah, and I'm definitely haggling for this. Like, you're not you're not getting away with that. And there we go. Alrighty. I think we'll do one more day of um shopkeeping, and then we're gonna start working on the uh, the void salt. I think. But yeah, I'm I, I love this game a lot. 
So I say it every week, but big thanks to Maya for introducing this game to me. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Ah, the wizard. Um, you're selling the paper for fifty-five a piece. I've gotta, I've gotta buy. I'm gonna buy all of it. This, this is so cheap. Normally he charges like a hundred and something for this. What a steal! Seven hundred for eighteen sheets of paper. <laughs> I ripped this guy off. Look at this. Look how many more spots for recipes I've got now. All of these tabs are like a possible recipe I can save. My goodness. The Twitch notification said you were going live was almost nine minutes late. That's weird. Need protection from battles. I don't really want to sell you my lightning protection potion. I'll give you a stone skin potion. Here you go, brother. Um, I'll not charge you extra for that. Mana potion. I can make you a mana potion. Um, I'll haggle you for this one, why not? As was hacking. <laughs> I'm level 10. I'm level 10 popularity now. Question will keep your horse from getting exhausted. Stamina? Or strength? I think strength. Um, yeah, I will haggle you for this one. So I've reached popularity 10, which is actually really good. There you go, brother. Ah, Herb Lady. Hello again, how are things? I brought you some fresh ingredients. I'm sure something will catch your eye. These are really good. I'm buying all these. Um, I'll buy some of these as well, just because they're always a handy ingredient to have. I don't need any more fire bells, and I don't think I need any more of those ice fruits. I'll buy two of them, why not? Ah, uh, let's haggle. Yeah, the name of the game is, is making money at the end of the day. Goodbye. Ah, uh, stone potion, stone skin. from different kinds of danger. A crappy stone skin potion? Yeah, you can just take that. A potion that you can throw to deal a lot of damage. Well, that sounds like an explosion potion if I've ever heard of it. Um, I'll haggle for it. Why not? Go, okay, brother. Restoring your magic powder. Powder. Power. That's a mana potion. The gameplay loop in this game is really simple, but it's very addictive. Uh, I actually saw they're actually going to update the game. They're going to add in some more features uh, coming up soon. A restorative potion. Would that be healing or...? Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Alright, so that's the end of the shopping part of it. I completed a quest from Chapter 8. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm trying to complete Chapter 6. So I need to create Void Salt. Alright. Void Salt. So I've got the Negredo. I've got the Potion of Necromancy. I've got these two things ticked off. I need to make these four potions. I need to make a potion that's level two explosive, level two light. Level three invisibility, level two swift. Okay. Let's continue brewing from here. So we need to get this down over to here where it's got the swift. You can play all the other chapters, you're just stuck making void salts. I don't think you can finish all the chapters, you can finish a lot of the other stuff. Because I think some of the other things are to create the other alchemical, um... Like, for the Philosopher's Stone or like Rubedo or stuff like that. Like, I think I think at some point you have to have made the, uh... The thingamajig for that. Yes, the thingamajig, that's what we're calling it now. That's kind of where I'm at now. I, like, I'm, I'm literally just waiting to... Um, to get this one ingredient. So I need to get it back to the swiftness. This shouldn't actually be too hard. Um, let's pop in a life leaf.
So I need to get this to be level 2. Um, let's pop in. I think a fire flower actually suits our purposes here. Okay, mix, mix, mix. <laughs> Three toes of a sloth. No, we don't use animal parts, we just use plants. So that's that potion done. So I've got the stone, I've got this, and I've got this. So I need to make the explosion one next. So level 2 explosion, level 2 light. That shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. We need to get to here, and then over to here. So again, that shouldn't be too difficult. Boom Bloom is like actually an incredible ingredient for getting to explosion. to head to the left. You can use a flame weed for that. That sounds like a good use of flame weed. Um, and then we need to head down. Yeah, and these like bone zones, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, the parts with like bones on it, are um death zones basically. Like if you if you start mixing into there, you will be killed. Hopefully I haven't jumped the gun here. Okay, pump, pump, pump. Bone zone has a very different meaning. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, this is not gonna work. Why? I don't know why the whirlpool like took us took us away. Cause now it's just like screwed. Ah. Oh. Well, that sucks. I mean, I'll finish the potion, but it's a bit of a waste. Yeah, for whatever reason, when we went on the um, whirlpool, it like completely shifted our course, so we got screwed over. Like, it's not supposed to do that unless you're, um, pumping. Oh well, I can't be too upset, I suppose. Yeah, it's a shame. Bit of a waste. Let's take it this far and then we'll see where we can go from there. That is a real pity. Definitely wasted a couple of ingredients there. But yeah, what, what's Bone Zone's hidden meaning? Oh my goodness, hum, Humstorm, thank you for the raid. <laughs> hey DevTP, thank you for the, for the follow. Hey Puppet VSP, thank you for the follow as well. What are we up to, Hum? You're doing some art, that's awesome. Hey, Killmonger. Welcome, everybody. Goodness me. <laughs> this is a very unexpected raid. Uh, we just played some potion craft today, so hopefully you're all having a wonderful time. Uh, and you're ready to have some... Silly Cat plays a game where you make potions. Yes, welcome, raiders. I'm Kaz... For those who don't know me, I'm Kaz the Cat. I play all sorts of games, a lot of weird games like this. And I'm very pleased to make all of your acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, 
yes, Raiders. I, we do love our Raiders here, so thank you very much. It's, it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, so right now we're trying to follow this recipe. Um, so I've now got three of the parts needed. Four of the parts needed. So I've got this potion done, I've got this potion done, this done, this done. I didn't make level two strength, level two iron skin, level one uh, slow. Okay. It's going to be a little tricky, I think. <laughs> I do appreciate the raid a lot, so hopefully you had an awesome time in your stream. And hopefully you're having a good time in general. It's it's really much appreciated. It's always great to, uh, to have uh, people come and, and raid. It really does mean a lot, so thank you. Like, very, very much. Oh, I hope this works. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Nah, this is gonna... I'm gonna get killed. Yeah, wasted. That was a big waste. I need more Terraria. Not the game Terraria. What a, what a folks' opinion on the game Terraria. Yay or nay. Can't say I was ever really a big fan of Terraria. Uh, Terraria is nice, but you can't play because it's horrible to look at. Fair, fair, fair. I don't really have a problem with the graphics, it's more just like... I think it's because I had a really bad, um... I guess I had a really bad exposure to the game, if you want to call it that. That was so bad. Um... Like, the, the person that I played it with the first time I played it, basically just, like... Like, I wasn't able to, like, actually explore anything. They just, like, they did, like, everything for me. So, like, they were just like, oh, I just killed this boss, I've just done this, I've just done that. I was like, well... Thanks, but... Far out, I am completely screwing up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go backwards. You feel the same, Derp? Yeah, I just wasted like a, a good ingredient there. Yeah, we need to get to level 2, not level 3, okay? There we go. Alright, pump, pump, pump. So I need... What else did I need? It was level 2 slow, I think. No, level 2 iron skin, level 2 slow. Okay. So you play... Are uh, you trying to talk about Terraria? Because we don't like those ones. Uh, I think... I think... Um... Like, I don't think it's a bad game. It's just, like... If I have, like, free time, I'd rather play something I'd actually enjoy <laughs> a lot more. Like, it's not... It's not the worst game I've ever played. I will, I will say that. It's not... It's not, like... A horrible game. Just not really my cup of tea. Anyway, how do we get on talking about Terraria anyway? Alright, because the ingredient is called Terrarium. <laughs> you can't afford it? I'm sure it goes on sale, like, semi-regularly, right? Just, I just need to get it to level 1 slow. We don't need anything anything crazy here, we just need to make it work. Oh, there we go. It's already at level 1. 
So that's that's almost everything now. Hey, ready of in. Uh, ready of it in. Thank you for the for the for the follow. So we just need to make this potion. So it's poison, fire, ice, explosion, lightning. That is a wacky potion. Do I have to do it in that order? I feel like I might have to have it in that order too, right? Poison fire ice. Poison fire ice isn't that bad. Just duh duh duh. Then we have to go to explosion, then we have to go- okay. It's gonna take some doing, but it's not difficult by any means. Yeah, we'll take it one step at a time. Yeah, poison, then fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. You guys hit, ever heard of Johnny Cash? I do have a ton of tangleweed, so I can just use that to get over there. Uh, where's my tangleweed? Yeah, I think they're like they're like adding new plants and stuff into this game. It's so cool. I can't wait until the update. I I didn't even know there was gonna be an update. I just saw like the dev diary um, just just before actually. Where's my weed? Not that kind of weed, silly. Mix, 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 mix. Alrighty. Pump, pump, pump. So now we get, need to get to explosion. Okay. It's a flame weed to start heading over that direction. Such an expensive potion, bruh. Was there probably a better way to do this? Yeah, probably. Is it too late to turn back? Also, yes. from the skeletons. They just need a level 1 explosive, so stop as soon as it gets there. Pump, pump, pump. Now I need to get to lightning. Okay. Um, Shadow Chanterelle actually works pretty well here. And then I reckon just... I actually get to get value out of this mushroom. This mushroom I thought was like kind of useless, but I actually get value out of it now. <laughs> I was like, surely I'm never going to need this water cap. It's like kind of water crap, if you ask me. Mix, 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 mix. Here we go, folks. It's time for the greatest achievement in the scientific field the 15th century. Alrighty. So let's pop in these ingredients. So you go into there. Necromancy potion goes into here. The weird concoction I just made goes into here. The invisibility potion goes into the one just below it. The explosion and fire potion, this one, goes into here. Strength, iron skin, and slowness pressure gets to here. Pull the lever! I did it! Hey, thanks for the head pets, Chief.
Void Salt. I've completed this chapter. Um, with each new chapter, new visitors, water types, potion bases, merchants, and purchasable items appear. Excellent. Void Salt. <laughs> okay. What is Void Salt? 10,000! Gradually erases the built path. What? What does that mean? Ah, I need to buy more parts to upgrade the alchemy machine again. Alright, so I reckon I'm probably going to have to make albedo at some point. I don't know whether I can be bothered making it now. <laughs> I think I'm happy with uh, with where I'm at right now. So we finished chapter 5. There we go. That was the goal for today was to finish chapter 5. Ah, there we go. We have to build albedo to, to complete the next part. You're going to lurk around for a bit? No problem. There's a lot of potions we need to make. Potion of poison protection, fire protection, frost protection, gluing, and slipperiness, and stench. Well, I found lightning protection. Lightning protection was down here, so... I reckon these other potions are all, like... Oh my goodness, I never know where to look for them. Maybe I shouldn't have progressed the chapter. Now, now I'm going to be asked to make potions that I don't know where they are. <laughs> but a win's a win. Let's go to bed. Check out garden. Yum, yum, yum. Who is this guy? You need a potion of agility. Agility would be swiftness, I think, right? That's not agility? Oh, agility maybe is dexterity? Yeah, okay. This is a new customer. I don't recognize this guy. Oh, it's the fishing guy. <laughs> uh, came for your help. You made a bet you could catch this one fish. You would do it, but it's going to hurt. You can tear the rod. You can tear the rod out of your hands. What kind of potion do you need exactly? A potion that would make you stronger. Okay, so you need a strength potion, in other words. Easy enough. Here you go, brother. You know, you can take that without without uh, paying extra. The Coven of Witches. You can fly in a broom. Oh, so you need a flight potion, I think. There you go. Oh, now nah, you're you're definitely paying extra for this one. You tell me that I can get over a thousand gold for a single potion. I'm not passing that up. Mushroom man, mushroom man. But hello, alchemist. Any interest in some nice mushrooms? By the way, I could use a potion. Will you help me out? What kind of potion? Some interesting mushrooms grow in certain caves, but I rarely go in there. There are no bears or monsters. It's just really cold. Plus, there are strong drafts, and at my age, drafts are no laughing matter. If you can give me some protection against the cold, I can... Ah, so you need a protection against cold potion. All right. Okay, I'll... So, that, so I'm already going to have to try and find... There is a potion of protection against cold, right? Okay, yes. Frost protection. I would assume it would be somewhere over here. Alright, we're going on a bit of a fishing trip, folks. We're heading off into the great unknown, because I don't know where I'm supposed to uh, look for this. Well, I've got some ideas. Like, I'm not going in completely blind. I have a feeling... It might be somewhere around this area, but... At the same time, I don't really know, to, to be truthful. Great unknown. Mix, 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 mix. Aha! 
Aha! There's a potion here. Ah, it's one of those ones where it's at a screwy sort of angle. I, I don't know how to get these potions to level 3. I'm, I'm pretty happy with level 2 for this, honestly. Fire protection. Why is this fire protection? How does that make sense? Are they on... Ma oh, maybe they're on the opposite side. Yeah, lightning's over here. Lightning protection's down here. Fire's over here, so frost protection is over here. So fo ice, um, cold protection must be over here or something. All right, that 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 actually makes makes sense. I, I I respect that. That actually does make some sense. That the that the um ingredient is on like the protection um, ingredient is on the opposite side of um where the um watch call where the thing regularly is. That actually does make sense. Some fire crystal, right? Fire sit time? Yeah. Oops, I don't want to put the mortar in the. Uh... I always forget which one's the mortar and which one's the pestle. I feel like I ask this every week. <laughs> and people keep telling me and I keep forgetting. Mix, mix, mix. Go left for now, I think. I don't like that I'm going in blind here. Ah, here we go. So I'm gonna assume that this is um this is what I'm looking for. I, want to, I do want to at least get it to level 2 if I can. Damn, really? We can't even get to level 2? It was like a perfect alignment. Sheesh. Enlargement? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'll save the recipe, I guess. That's a potion from the next chapter. What the heck? So where's where's <laughs> where's frost protection? So so I accidentally skipped a chapter. Potion of enlargement, bro. What the heck is that stuff all about? quickly look up where this is. I don't go crazy looking for it. It's 
primarily on the oil map. Oh yeah, it is on the oil map. I suppose we could use an we could use oil. I've never really used oil. It's supposed to just be like solely on the left. Hey, Fuma, how you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> Add a bongo, Kaz. Yes, we can do that. Uh, apologies if I missed your message. I, I was focusing a little bit. There we go. Bongo, bongo. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but good to see you, Fuma. Hopefully you've been doing okay. Guess who's back? I'm guessing it's I'm guessing it's you. Who's back? Let's add the bongo for all time's sake. Yeah, hundred percent. But hopefully you've been doing okay. It's you. You are right. It has been quite some time. I don't know exactly how long, but. It has closed now. Yes, we have the new. It's a new improved bongo, Kaz. The old bongo Kaz was retired because, quite frankly, it's it wasn't that good. So we, we had to get a new a new bongo. Okay, this is this is frost protection apparently. This one down here. I did look it up. Yes, you can you can get upset with me for for cheating or whatever, but I honestly had no idea what this was. <laughs> And this is going to be possible to get to level 3, so... Easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy, what the heck? It's been boring, it has been 5 months or so, sheesh. Okay, so now I'm starting to see that oil has actually got some crazy potential. Because some of these recipes, I'm just looking at the map, they're like really easy to get to. Which is really interesting to me. But where is it on the, uh... Genuine, I'm genuinely curious, where is it on the water protection? On the, um, the water map? Because I could have, I could have sworn it was like... Join the adult snarls month. Congratulations. Okay, so apparently, oh, I was really close. Apparently, it's like right down here is where it is. So, fair enough. Here you go, brother. What kind of potion do you need? Enjoy. The potion brought me a lot of grief to get. So, I hope you cherish it with your frail old life. Alright, let's haggle. Yeah, congratulations on joining the adults. It's not as exciting as, as it as it's as it might first seem, I'll just tell you that. The lock on my door is stuck. How do I get into my house now? Oh, here we go. You can take this potion. Oh, he actually wants it because there's multiple effects. I made that potion by accident. Strength? Strength could actually work. I usually use acid. Um, but explosion works as well. You need lubrication for personal reasons. What does that mean? What- what? You want a potion of libido? No, what the heck? What is lubrication? <laughs> oh, yeah, now I'm- I'm the perverted one, because I assumed that he was talking about something dirty. Lubrication? Slipperiness? I think he's asking for a potion of slipperiness. <laughs> Where the heck could that even be? Potion of slipperiness. Slipperiness. 
don't think this is another one that could work with oil. Now, gluing is not would not do what, what the guy wants. He, he wants lubrication, so it'd be the opposite. So it'd be something that makes it more slippery. I can't believe I'm actually making this guy loop. When I studied for 12 years at the Wizards Academy, this is not where I expected my talents to be used. I believe this is actually it. Hello there. Hey, Harold. How are you doing? Harold 2005. Oil map is actually insane. I I have really I just did a grind of the game he's been playing. What game what game have you been playing? Don't tell me it's like Genshin or something like that. Keep stuff fresh. That's gonna be a frost potion, right? Yeah. I'll haggle for this, why not? Put a potion with something that'll cause extra damage to your enemies. Poison? Yeah, just take that. It's easy. That's it for the day. All right, sweet. Bruh, oil is kind of hog. I want to make this potion, whatever this is. Let's, let's go down there. I, I want to get make a th make that three star recipe, whatever the heck it is. There's another thing down here we can make a three-star recipe of. My goodness, some of these are like actually popping off, man. Oh, that was very close. That was cutting it very fine. This is a whole new world. You, you guys know the part in Aladdin where he sings a whole new world, a whole fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go, because now I'm in a whole new world with you. That's how I feel right now, playing this game.
ice fruit could be good here. Wow, easy. Lightning protection, that's a really good um, recipe for it too. So I've got a pre I've got another I didn't even save the other lightning like look look at my other lightning protection potion. Look how many ingredients were in this. Look how many ingredients are in this potion. This is a level two potion. That's how many ingredients went into it. This is a level three potion. Look at that. Six things. This is like three different items, six in total. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is ten different ingredients. And it wasn't even that good. It's a level two potion. Oil is the future for some of these things. It's actually insane. What's that? I, I need to see what this is now. Wow. I, I did not realize that... <laughs> this is where, like, the, the money's at. You can make some incredible potions here. Like, these, these patches are annoying as heck because they slow you down, but other than that... Like, life is pretty good. Got to haggle to get that bagel. <laughs> that is actually so true. If you, th if you really think about it, that's actually so true. I think this might actually be a perfect three star, or it's like very close to a three star. Ah, I, we touched the we touched the oil. That really sucks. Wow, there we go. Easy. Fire protection. I've already got a potion of fire protection, unfortunately. Let's go up. I want to see what's up. Maya, hello. We're, we've, I've discovered there's the oil map is so amazing. You can make these potions so easily and they're so good. <laughs> I'm actually becoming a mad scientist right now. Like, I think everyone is probably actually concerned. Hopefully you're okay, Maya. Hopefully you're doing well. What even is any of this stuff? This is becoming more powerful. Ah, I think I think the uh, the the luck has has run out a little bit. The game isn't gonna let me uh, get. Easy three level three uh, recipes anymore. Can I get a level two here at least? Whatever this is. I don't even think I can get a level two because the the bottle cap is like completely off. Weak potion of lightning. Pfft. You can finally retire from this game. No, you cannot. I made a potion of gluing. I don't know what what use this possibly has. Yeah, I completed I completed um chapter six. Uh, my. So I've just got to create albedo, poison protection, and stench. Which I have no idea where to find any of these. I've never actually gone over here. What is even over here? Oh, this is the oil map. I was like, whoa, I haven't even explored this part of the map. I just remembered I'm on, I'm on a completely different map. Such a dum-dum sometimes, I swear. But I will actually explore down there, why not? And yeah, we're in mad scientist mode. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Yes, my, you cannot retire from this game. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to retire. Kinda, kinda 
nasty. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? What's this? There's something over there. What's this? What's this? What's your guys' opinion on the nightmare before um Christmas? The film. Yay or nay? I think it's pretty good actually. Kind of screwed that up. That was kind of a waste. Um. If you ask whether it's a Halloween or a Christmas movie, I'll personally hunt you down. I mean, it's it's literally called a nightmare before Christmas. It is very obviously a Christmas film, though. No. But it is... They do sing a song, This Is Halloween. Now you've got me thinking. Now I actually don't know. I actually don't know what, what kind of film it is. I don't know. I haven't seen the film in years. There we go. Uh, this isn't a great recipe, but I'll take whatever it is. Stench! It's the Potion of Shrek. Bro, I've almost finished this chapter. What is this? <laughs> this is insane. But then again, I still need to make Albedo, so I haven't really finished this chapter. I need to make another Night Gretto. I should be able to make... Reasonably easily, right? No, not reasonably easily. I think I just need more ingredients. Alright, let's go sleep for now. Halloween is the nightmare before Christmas. I mean, they're, they're like two months apart, no? It's not really much of a connection. Alright, what do you want, lady? A potion that'll help you fly. Well, it's a potion of levitation. Okay. Um... I would assume... I mean, I have no idea what this is on the the water maps. Oh, sorry, the oil maps. So I'm going to have to go back to the water. Station is all the way up here. Okay. Very tired, so you're going to hop up. No worries, um... Uh, no worries, Chief. Hope you have a good night. Which holiday was made... Are frogs and green? Not in this game. In this, in this game, it's only plants. You can only use plants. So you're not a witch, you're an alchemist. So you, somehow you use the scientific method. I know it doesn't seem like it makes sense, but it does make sense. You do actually somewhat use the scientific method. Yeah, see ya, Chief. Take care. Hope you have a good night. I didn't realize that I had a I had an extra member of the audience though. So hello, my aunt. <laughs> uh, let's put in some mad mushrooms here. Uh, I'm not going to make the best potion for this person. This person doesn't deserve my best. If you don't, if you can't handle my potions at their worst, you don't deserve them at their best. It's Azure Fang. Yeah, Azure Fang's been here since almost the start. Yeah, actually, no, I think you were the first one here, Azure Fang, if I'm not mistaken. 
you get the prize for. First, to be here today. My favorite part of the game. I have to very carefully calculate. I mostly just eyeball it. I won't lie to you guys. I mostly just eyeball this. I don't really calculate. Okay. Is this recipe better than my other one? Nah, I think this recipe is better, honestly. I just don't have the um, ingredients right now. I said I would make her a crappy potion, but... Um, I ended up making her a really good one, so here you go, uh, miss. Haggle for extra money. Easy. Uh, you need a potion you can use instead of a torch or a lantern. That would be a potion of light. Uh, yes, I'll haggle you for that. Protection, protection against lightning. You pay for something of a higher quality. No, this is what you're getting, sir. You're getting the crappy potion today. I could give him the level 3 potion, but... I want to replenish your supply of herb. You have a favor to ask. Reliable antidote if something bites you. Ah, so you want a protection from poison potion. question is, is it going to be easier on the oil or the... Poison's this way. Hard skin? No, I think I think she wants an ant. She wants a protection from poison. I'm, I'm just, I'm just guessing, but I believe she probably wants a protection from poison. So let's, let's mix, mix, mix. Mix, 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 mix. Yeah, poison resistance. And let's explore. We, we don't have to rush. Like, the, the customers don't um, get upset if you take too long or anything like that. Would this be protection from poison? Yeah, if this is actually protection from poison, that's <laughs> very fortunate, somehow. Yeah, unfortunately, we can only we can only really get it to level. There's another potion down there. Oh, but this is wild growth. Okay, let's try that one down there. That one could be protection from poison. Let's see. Yeah, poison resistance. La résistance. Oui, oui, baguette. I'm very glad that. I don't have any French viewers here right now. Actually, funnily enough, I have actually had a couple of people who are French viewers. There's Misana and there's um, Zonum, neither of whom have been around for a while. Just something interesting. That's probably the weirdest thing about streaming is you, you actually like have so many people from all over the world and it's just bizarre. It's like, why are you guys here? Why are you watching this silly cat play this ridiculous game? Croissant? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> budget? Or are you saying budget? There we go. Whew. 
Hey! That actually works. <laughs> I'm always amazed that I can somehow make it. I'm actually almost finished this chapter. That is ridiculous. The only thing I need to do is make Albedo again. And we're actually done with this chapter. That is crazy. Where did I put it? Did I actually save that recipe? I did, okay. Here you go, sir. Sir? Miss? <laughs> Okay, I need lots of this po of this ingredient. Healer's Heather is really good. Buy a bunch of cold leaf. We'll buy some more of these, because these are always handy. I uh, don't think I need any more fire bells. I've already got nearly 50. I'll just buy four of those. Cold leaf, I could use some more of, and it's on sale, so I'll buy some more of that. French baguette. It reminds me, I saw a Mr. Beast video. It was like a short. It was a Mr. Beast short. He literally was, like, at a university, and he just went up to people and was like, um, I, I'll pay you $200 if you go to Paris. Like, this was in the United States, mind you. He was going around, like, an American college campus. And he's like, I'll pay you 200 bucks if you fly to Paris and get me, and bring me a baguette. Yeah. And he, like, gave the guy, like, a full, like, it was, like, flight, hotel, and everything. And then he gave him, like, I think, $5,000 or something at the end as well. <laughs> it's like, whoa! What, when was this going to happen to me? Need a potion to protect against sunburn? Fire protection? Does that add more than one type of ingredient? Are you kidding me? It's more than 5k, bruh. It was, it was a lot of money. It was like a stack of money. You'll be right back. No worries, Maya. See you in a bit. Got a strong mana potion. Potion seller, I need your strongest potions. You got to add my strongest potions. Swiftness. Hey, there you go. Protection from poison. I just I just made one of those. Can I make you another one? I can make you another one. Here you go. You're not paying very much for this, are you? It's a little disappointing. 400 gold for something like that. I'm not the super fan. Okay, have you scammed someone? No, you can't give, like, fake potions, Harold. Of course you would be thinking, like, how can I scam somebody? I need some terraria, man. Like, it's like the most basic ingredient, and yet I don't have any of it. I've got poison and sleep, so I need these three. I need strength, iron skin. Sorry, stone skin. I always keep calling it bloody iron skin. Poop shroom. So I need terrarium and poop shroom to make uh, the negredo. Then albedo. I don't know if I really want to advance to the next, next chapter just yet. Like, I reckon I probably could actually finish Chapter 7 today, but I don't know if I want to. I think I'm happy where I'm at right now for, for a while. I want to get some more level ups. I want to um, serve some more customers, all that sort of stuff. Hey, Mazda, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Hope all's well where you're at. Hello, customer. Ah! Brought stones, would have brought more, but I need a potion. Potion that will pierce the shell. Look at the stray cats and dogs make you worry. What sort of potion does this guy want? a potion that will pierce the, sp the shell. Do you want, like, an explosive potion or something? Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford that fire citrine. I'm gonna buy the other stones. Stones are, like, extremely valuable. But I'm not gonna buy it at a, at a premium. I'm not gonna um, buy the ones that are marked up, because that's it's not worth it. Like, as good as the stones are, they're not worth... 400 a pop. 
Thank you, sir. Wild growth. I'll just sell you this crappy one. There you go, sir. Potion that will let you grow plants and trees in the blink of an eye. So wild growth. And I'll actually give you a... A slightly better one. There you go. You need to attach a painting to the walls. It's gluing. <laughs> So. Any hopes there? How do you fit so many plants in your bag? It's quite simple. It's a magic bag. Ah, I see, I see. Evergreen fern. Yeah, I'm just going to buy, like, all of this. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock, ma'am. Let, let's be let's be reasonable here. I don't need that many more tangle weeds or fire bells. I would like some more of this, and just like a couple more of these would be good. Yes, let's haggle. Okay, a thousand gold for all that stuff. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. In a potion. You can throw that deals damage poison. Lightning, maybe? Yeah, why not? You can have it. Uh, something that'll light a fire. There you go, sir. Um, just take it. You need some glue. I've got glue. I got just the thing. You need something that can glue to the wall? Here's some glue. This is wacky that we're just making glue potions. This will help you spot rabbits from far away. Magical vision, probably? No, I'm not, I'm not meeting your second criteria. But only one ingredient, how's that even possible? Which that protects against frost. Have I got a frost protection potion? I've got the recipe, okay. We are just, like, flying through these days at this point. The best part is we're about to max out our trading skill, which means even more money. My goodness. Is that Terraria? It is. Awesome. Did you find the Necromant special last time? Yes, I did. It was over here. Uh, I made a recipe for it. It's a very complicated recipe. Um, I could probably... I'll, I'll, I, at some point, I should probably try and make a better recipe for it. But um, I did get it, yes. Thank you for asking. Just reach home. Hey, Mezzo, how you doing? Uh, enjoy lurking. Enjoy the good old lurk. Probably stop. I, I, I sometimes I get carried away with the ingredients because you don't want to put in too many ingredients. It's it's safer to do it one at a time because then if you stuff up, you don't lose that much. The way that I do the potions, if I stuff up, I lose a lot of ingredients because I put in all the stuff before. It's not really very intelligent.
This is actually a much better stone skin potion recipe. The one that I've been previously using. Much cheaper recipe. That's the, that's the thing, you're always looking for ways you can be slightly more efficient. Let's bin. Let's bin this recipe. Goodbye. Save this recipe instead. Resourceful Kaz is good Kaz. Yeah, I mean that's 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 probably one of the things that I really love about this game is that it encourages you to be really creative. Okay, poison strength, stone skin, sleep, slow. I think I've got all those, right? I need to remember where they go though, so poison goes up here. Oops. Strength and stone skin. Oops. <laughs> Sleep and slow. I just wanted to make another um one of these stones that I'm ready to go when I do decide to create the albedo. There we go. Finish. So to make albedo. These four are quite easy, actually. Nothing tricky about that. These are just basic a basic potion. This one's pretty easy. These other three are a little bit trickier. But I'm not that keen on progressing at this stage. I'm happy to just uh, stay where I am for now. Stay in my lane, so to speak. Make stuff big. Potion of Enlargement? It's a crappy potion, but you can have it. <laughs> Why didn't I make a good Potion of Enlargement? Ah, because it's, it's one of those angled bottles. Your head hurts and it's been keeping you awake. A health Potion will do that. Hey, welcome back, Maya. <laughs> um, I never charge extra for the health potions. It's not worth it. Something to keep stuff cool. Um, yeah. Ah, Mushroom Man. Hello, today I have more top quality mushrooms for you as always. Look how massive this one is, eh? Oh, that's big all right. By the way, how's your memoir coming along? Great, I just finished the chapter about my travels in the north. I accidentally fell into an icy crevice and spent three days getting out of it. I lived off snow mushrooms. They don't taste too great, but I feel interesting. So that is a birthday stream. All right, no worries. Enjoy, enjoy their stream. Uh, take care. Hopefully I'll catch you around again uh, a little later. What is this? Rainbow cap. What in the name of rainbow cap is this? Oh, this is one of those cases where I just say, I'll take your entire stock, sir. Boop shroom is actually quite good. These are, these ones are not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, the Lost Mushroom seems actually quite good. So I'll grab a bunch of those. And I'll grab some more Shadow Chanterelle. Oh, ignored. I didn't ignore you, I said welcome back. You can check the VOD back, I swear I said welcome back. that will keep a wind ball from running off. Slowness? Yeah, see, even as I said, I, I swear I didn't ignore you. I, I would never ignore you, Mai, you know that. Are you still with your auntie, or are you back home? Uh, magic to create an acid. An ash acid potion? Here you go, sir. I need some kind of sticky goo. <laughs> well, here's a glue potion, sir. Yeah, we're just making bank at this point. Uh, wild growth is what you're looking for there. There you go, ma'am. I don't need a charge extra for that. Ah, oh, you're eating dinner. Okay, okay, okay. Who 
Who's gonna want a potion of stench? Like, genuinely. Who's gonna actually turn around and say, like, I want a stinky potion? I suppose if you want a stink bomb, right? Like, if you're like a prankster, you're like, wouldn't it be funny if I cracked open the potion of stench? Made it smell like Shrek's basement. Ah, wizard. Ooh. We have some things for sale. Advanced alchemy machine upgrade. Sure. Moon salt recipe. Sure. Enchanted paper. I don't think I need... <laughs> I've got plenty of enchanted paper. I don't need any enchanted paper. Haggle. Do I dare try a medium haggle? Yes. I think I can do medium haggles now. I'm getting better at this. So we're saving fi nearly five grand. Oh, here you go, sir. <laughs> I just spent a lot of money on that. Instead of a fart cushion, they use the stinky fart potion or the wet fart potion. I hate the sound of that. All right, what's moon salt? Ah, so moon salt needs albedo. What even are these? It's like a potion of shrinking or something, I think, from what, from what it looks like. This is a complicated potion recipe, bro. Okay, feeling slippy. That's all right. If you need it, if you need to go, um, no, no stress. Ah, this is chapter seven quests, bro. We are just like flying through this. Bye, bye. No worries, Mazda. Take care. Have a great rest of your night. Do I dare buy a couple of? I don't need it. I've got, I've got so many spare pages because that person had a discount. This guy sold them at a discount before, so I, I don't need them anymore. Uh, do you have any glowing paint? That would be a potion of light. Potion of light, yeah, give me. Okay, I need to, I need to be a bit more cautious here. Because I am doing medium difficulty haggles. There we go. Okay, I can do the medium difficulty haggles, but it's a bit tough. A potion will protect you from being poisoned. Okay, that's a potion of poison protection. Funnily enough. Nice. Alright, I can actually do medium level haggles now, which is good. A potion that will make you less clumsy. Dexterity, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually getting alright at the, uh, this rhythm game thing. I uh, should let people see in the dark. That would be magical vision, I believe. Nice. I'm actually surprised that I can do, um, the medium level haggles. I used to not be able to do those. Hello, interested in any shrooms? Of course, sir. What is that? The grave truffle. Okay, we're going to buy these. These are really good. I also now have a need for these. I didn't think that these were actually any good, but I, I've since actually started using them in some recipes, so I'm going to need some. Uh, we'll buy some more magma morels. Bracken mushroom. Yeah, why not? We'll buy some of these. The mad mushrooms are not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, so... Take that, that sounds good. You pretty much want to buy like tons of ingredients whenever you can. A dangerous potion that can coat my weapon. That would just be poison, I think, just straight up. Yeah, just take it. Um someone is following me, they want to rob you, so probably an invisibility potion. Oops. I am fumbling this really hard. Ah, crap. I actually lost some money there, that's a shame. Ah, uh, healing potion. You can just grab a healing potion, that's fine. I don't charge extra for these. 
poison is enough. I don't charge extra for poison. Either. That's not worth it. You want a certain fellow to like me who won't even look at you? Can you change this? There'll be a charm potion. Why have I only got a level two charm? Is there someone who can fart on command? What are you talking about, Harold? The potion of charm is up here. How do I not have a better recipe for this? Yet? Now I think I, when I when I found the potion of charm, it was at the, it was at the point in the game where I was just like I'm happy to just uh, be adding stuff to my list. I didn't really care whether it was level two or three. I was just like I just need to get a recipe here. Now that I've got tons of ingredients, it's a lot easier to to make this sort of stuff happen. I think there's actually an opportunity where I can use this. <laughs> I've never actually found an opportunity to use this mushroom before. In the old charm recipe. Say goodbye to Exodia. And say hello to the new charm recipe for level 3. There you go, miss. Good luck with your endeavors for romance. Is there an ending to this game? Uh, I assume when you complete chapter 10, there's an ending. Um, that's my guess. The thing is, this game is still in development. Like, the, the weird thing is, this game's kind of old, but there's, there's like a, there was a developer diary the dude like yesterday, and they're saying they're adding more content. So it's gonna be like, you can actually like control what grows in your garden, or you can like expand your garden somehow. Uh, so that's something that's coming, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, something that, like, I also found weird, it's got, like, like, it says, like, um, shop upgrades, you can buy new upgrades from the merchants. So I'm assuming at some point we might be able to upgrade these. Like, mortar and pestle, cauldron, spoon, and that stuff. I actually looked it up, it, there's no update for any, there's no, um, upgrades for any of this stuff, but it would make sense if there was an upgrade for these at some point. Uh, the only thing you can upgrade is the, um, alchemy, uh, machine. So there's more content coming, which I'm really, really keen for, so... Very much so looking forward to it. Uh, it didn't say when the update's coming, it just said that there is an update coming. Uh, lantern that won't go out in the rain, that's a potion of light. Go. Healing potion. Yep, no problem. Like, with a healing potion, you don't even have to ask. You know I got you covered. I, if I could, I would give away the healing potions for free. You have something that can help you relax. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do, sir. I made one of these by accident before. There you go. Enjoy your relaxation. Will they also add new potions? Maybe. Because there was like new um uh, plants in the in the picture as well. They're like it was like a simultaneous reveal of like new garden feature and also some new plants. So it was like I would assume there might be some new potions coming. I hope so. If herbs, yeah, it's a very small selection of stuff. Well, I do need some druids rose. Actually, both of these I'll just I'll just cap out on. And even though it's a bit overpriced, I will buy a few of these too. Because these are actually really handy. Alright, let's haggle. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, miss. Uh, you need glue. I've got glue. Go 
Where's that? Um, it's damp and it won't burn. So fire, I think, so you can dry out the wood. Just take it, I don't need a tackle for that. Anything to treat wasp stings, that would just be a health potion, I believe. There you go, sir. Starting to go bald. Do you have anything that can make hair grow? How about a potion of wild growth? No, you need a pay extra for that. That's a, that's a luxury. Like, the guy who says, like, wasps, that's that's a necessity. Hair growth is, a, is optional. You want a testing chamber for the potions to be tested. You can be the test subject for the potions, Harold. How would you like that? I bet you wouldn't like that. Because I don't know what half these potions do. That was a very small amount of ingredients today. Where's Mr. Fancy Pants? Uh, lightning protection, yes. I do happen to have that on hand. There you go, sir. Anything to recover after a battle? Probably health. There you go. In a potion that'll let you fly. Still missing fluff blooms. Okay. Free drinks. It's not the kind of drink that you want, I don't think, uh, Harold. Bottom line is, you shouldn't drink any. And this goes for all of you in chat. You don't want to drink anything that you don't know what you're drinking, okay? This is like semi serious. Don't just drink random stuff, especially if somebody just offers you a drink, okay? Stuff from the sit under the kitchen sink tastes so good. No, it does not. You should not drink anything that's not meant for human consumption, guys. I don't want you guys getting hurt, okay? We may as well save this recipe, I feel like. It's not a great recipe, but it's not a bad one. Nah, don't even joke about that. Duh, it's not funny. It's not funny to joke about that. It's one thing to have a bit of a laugh, but that's a serious issue, so let's not make light of it, okay? Uh, push will help you against an ice dragon. Yeah, that's okay. I, I know I know you just you're just making a joke, but it is something that you know, it is not really a joking matter. So thank you for taking um responsibility on that. What is this? So it comes full circle, what the heck? I'll just buy all of these, why not? I'll buy all the feather blooms while we're at it. Do I need any of these? Buy all? No, I don't want to buy the stuff that's um, overpriced. 
Like, I feel like these wind blooms is probably worth buying a few because they're still kind of cheap. We'll buy the ice root. I don't really want mage berry. I don't get the point. It brings you back where you started. Like, what's the point of that? Let's haggle. Haggle, haggle, haggle. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, this guy's very blunt. I want a potion that'll protect me against frost. Well, here you go, sir. I've got the perfect potion for you. It's called Frost Protection. JPEG. Ah! The game, like, lagged for a second. And, uh, I misclicked. You can't sleep. You have a potion for that. I happen to have a potion for that. You know what? I'm not even going to charge you extra. Good luck getting some sleep. Such a pro this game so far from where I got. And I say this every time, like, I'm building on the shoulders of giants. Like, if it wasn't for you playing this game, one, I never would have played it myself, and two, like, watching you play gave me so many, like, tips on how to play and stuff like that. Like, like, put it this way, like, you had a lot of challenges with the game, and from that I was able to learn, so I, I didn't, like, like, um, have those same challenges. So if it wasn't for you, I would not have been anywhere near as good at this game as I am. So it's really all thanks to you. You did this on your own? No, not at all. I mean that. I mean it. Like I said, like if it wasn't for you, I never would have even known that this game existed. At the very least, you do have to take credit on that. Exactly, you inspired me, so how else could a... You always get evil max rep, bruh. Why do you want to be a good guy? You don't want to help people? <laughs> oh, the dwarf. Greetings, alchemist. Broad minerals you're taken. How do you fight in someone underground? Yes, many creatures under the mountain. We look for ore, look for minerals. Sometimes we dig out hives and nests of creatures. Spiders, worms, beetles have to fight. I guess I'll just buy a whole stock of these. Because I don't have them. Like, that's the new, um, the new item that he, uh, came up with. Wow, that was really good. They asked for a lot of poison, po poison, poison potion, uh, and fire or explosion potions. Interesting. How do you open the chest? You can use a potion of acid for that, sir. Okay. You need protection from the battles. Okay. Ah, oh, whoops. Yeah, I made the wrong potion. Why do I even have that recipe still? Why do I have a level 2 stone skin recipe here? Which will increase your endurance. Strength? Yeah, for real, Maya. Like, I would not have even known about this game if it wasn't for you. And you you know how much I like this game. But yeah, I have you to thank for introducing this to me. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I'm just eyeballing the uh, ingredients nowadays. I don't, I don't really check, like, my inventory to see what I have. I'm just like, yeah, that looks good. I try and spend under a thousand on uh, on any uh, single purchase if I can. Uh, you need to restore your magical power since it's a mana potion. Now nah, just take it. I'm not interested. You fought with your family, and then we're not, we're not on speaking terms. You had a potion to help you reconcile. Is this charm? Yeah, okay. Oh, 
Okay, medium's not that hard. You're feeling itchy down there. You have anything to relieve it. I think that they're, they're speaking metaphorically. They mean like they, they're keen, so to speak. It's the only custom potion bottle. Wait, really? It's, they're being, they're not being, um, euphemistic. They actually genuinely have an itch. Okay, well, there's a health <laughs> potion. I thought they were like saying, I need a bit of the, the good stuff. But no, they actually were just like, I genuinely, I'm itchy. I need something to help <laughs> with my itchiness. I thought they were, like, this is like the opposite. Like, it's like, in like, movies and stuff, it's always the opposite way. People think it's the innocuous thing, but they actually want the sussy thing. I assumed it was the sussy thing, but it was the not sussy thing. The garden giveth and the garden taketh away, man. I have not seen this guy in so long. Oh, <gasps> He's got fluff blooms. I need all. Of, I need all of these. These are pretty good as well, actually. This guy has such a wide range of um, of uh, items, honestly. I'll buy a few of these, even though they kind of suck. I'll buy these. I'll buy these. I'll buy all of these. I'll buy this. I'll buy some of these. I'll buy a few of these. 2,000? Eh. Sure, why not? Thirteen hundred. I'll, I'll 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 take that. I don't need any more pages. I don't think. Kaz being sus. I need poison. I need a potion to poison rats and other sort of vermin. <laughs> there you go. Your eyesight is bad. Okay. Here's potion for eyesight. Imagine if you could just take a potion and your eyes would be fixed. How good would that be, chat? Lantern, that would be Potion of Light. Now, once you've done the work and, like, made all the potion recipes, this game becomes a lot easier. Rainbow Cap? I may as well buy his whole stock of Rainbow Caps. Stop the cap. That's one of my favorite reaction uh, gifts. The guys go and stop the cap and then they just start laughing really hard. It's great. If you guys don't know what I'm looking at, what I'm talking about, just Google on, just go on YouTube and type in "stop the cap," and you will see the video. Goodbye. Um, you've got a stomach ache. Oh, here's a health potion. Just take it, sir. I don't need it. Potion to coat your weapon. Poison? Just take it. A potion will protect you from the dangers in battle. That'd be this. And I will haggle for this. Yeah, tips for anyone looking to play this game. Um, don't haggle on really cheap potions, just focus on increasing your reputation. Um, when you should haggle at very at easy or medium at the very least. Don't um Wow. Um, don't muck around with the lowest level of haggle because it's not worth it. 1600 for a single potion. Hey Daniel, how you doing? Hi Kaz, the best cat. <laughs> it's very kind of you to say. I uh, hope you're doing well, Daniel. 1600 for one potion, bro. That's crazy. Yes, the Wiggles. Uh, you guys might have seen there's a new channel goal, so I've actually got a meme model. I will say it's a meme model, okay? It's not a serious model. It'll just be a channel redeem, and it's like, you know, the um, ice cream cone or something like it'd be It'd be like equivalent to the ice cream cone. So if we do get to 25 subs at some point, uh, I'll activate that. It's all ready to go. It's just waiting to, to hit the goal. Obviously, no expectations to hit it, but if anybody wants to see that, um, you're more than welcome. How's your day? Why are you saying that like the SpongeBob meme where he like is like, How's your day? <laughs> That's been all right. It's, it's, it's been a bit of a tough week, or just a tiring week in many ways, but I'm doing okay. I had a pretty good day today. Nah, if, he had this, if he had this paper on a discount, I would actually buy it, but I'm not buying it at full price. 
explosion that can break the thick shell of a monster that's explosion. I didn't know Azure Fang, I didn't know that you'd played this game. You mentioned before that you always go full evil. Yeah, how was your day, Daniel? I hope it was a really wonderful day. Full of lots of fun things. Relaxation. Lots of love. Everything like that. Ah, you've played it but not in Steam. I see, I see, I see. Now I get you. Ah, sugar. Ah! Yeah, I'm really botching this one. Sugar. Ah, come on. Yeah, when I when I get a little flustered, it becomes tougher to keep my cool. Okay, I'll take that. It's not not as much as we could have gotten back, but um, I'll I'll accept that. We ended up getting a little extra. Plant lady, I will take all of these. I will take your entire stock of this, what is this called? Whirlweed. Yeah, this is just what, this is just the strat I've found. You just want to buy like, because look at, look at all my ingredients. Look how many ingredients I have. I can make like anything now. I've got 82 tangleweeds. That's the dream. You just get heaps of ingredients, and then you're, like, fine. Like, I could make 26 po poison potions if I wanted to right now with what I've got. You hate flying monsters. Me too, bro. You can see that. Uh, something that will add extra protection. Oh, here you go, sir. Yeah, if you, you, you since you're good at rhythm games, my you could probably handle um medium level haggle just fine. Like the the money that it gives you is actually like really, um, really handy. Uh, something that will help you cool down. Here you go, sir. Just take it, I don't need any extra. Question of agility. Agility is dex. I will have you for this though, sir. Fruitcake. Sometimes I just, um... You and your London cousin wanted to play Minecraft, but you couldn't join. I'm assuming you're, you're trying to talk to Maya. <laughs> I did see that there was like an update for Minecraft or something. Like apparently they've, they've changed some rules around like servers or something. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have, have looked into that. There was, there was some news today. Um, I don't really know what it was about. I didn't really follow it, but there was, I remember seeing something on, on, tw on Twitter. Sorry, X. <laughs> oh, he was talking to me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry you couldn't play, um, Minecraft today. Hopefully, whatever's happening, uh, gets sorted out. This guy gives me a whole song and dance. He's basically saying, hey, I need a health potion. Here you go, sir. Take it. Emotional protection against blows in melee combat. That would be stone skin. Protection? That would be stone skin. <laughs> From what stone skin, bruh. The reason why? Because you need to buy and pay for realms. Can't you do the thing that you do where it's it's free or whatever? I, I, I know very little about Minecraft. I 
You can only play Minecraft Bedrock Pet. Ah, oh, they can't play together because they can't afford a realm. I see, I see. That makes sense, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully, um, I don't know, maybe you can ask somebody for some money or something. And they can uh, help you out. Ah, free service is just for Java, not Pocket Edition. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Like, genuinely, I, I, I didn't know, so that, that actually, I, I'm genuinely thankful that you told me, because I actually have no idea about any of this stuff. Ah, P is Pocket Edition. I thought, I thought he was typing, and he, I, th I thought, um, Harold was typing, and he just, like, clicked enter <laughs> before he was finished. Gotta be stronger and faster. That, 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 they don't kill me. They don't only make me stronger. You want an invisibility potion? Here you go, sir. You want additional effects? How about you get stuffed? I'm not giving you additional effects. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not like a Karen NPC. On a sticky potion. What are you even gonna do with this, sir? What are you gonna do with a sticky potion? Ah! Ah, uh, fire protection. There you go, sir. Oh, I already had a potion of fire protection. Sometimes I feel bad about, like, haggling with this guy. Like, this guy's gonna fight a freaking dragon, and I'm nickeling and diming him. I'm, like, saying, listen, dude, I know this is, like, a life or death situation, but you're gonna have to pay me a little bit more than that. <laughs> I mean, if you prefer, you could just burn to death. Like, it's not my responsibility what happens. <laughs> I feel kind of bad when I charge people extra. But then I think, like, would they do the same to me? Let's just think about this, folks. Whenever you feel bad about doing something, like, doing something that gives somebody an inconvenience, just think, like, what would that person do in that situation? And don't think for a second that, like, if that person was in your situation, they wouldn't, like, screw you over. Mosquito repellent? The potion of stench? No. I was, I was actually so certain that this was finally when the Potion of Stench gets used, but it was not. Mosquito repellent. What could even, what could possibly be a mosquito repellent? Mosquito repellent. Like, fire? Would fire work? No. I'm actually gonna Google this, because I don't want to- I don't want the customer to get pissed. A certain redeem has been removed. Which one? Oh, that redeem, yes. Poison. it up and apparently nobody knows. <laughs> oh, it's just stone skin apparently. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Like, I guess that makes sense. The mosquitoes can't bite you if your skin is made out of stone. There you go. You can just take that. You have grease. You need some lubricant. Potion of slipperiness. There you go, sir. Mushroom Man. Mushroom Man's probably my favorite merchant. He sells the, the biggest variety of stuff. There you go. 
a potion that deals damage. Fire. Just take it. Um, you need an explosion potion. Well, if I could just skim at the dialogue now and I know exactly what they want. Because <laughs> I've read it so many times. Lotion that repels mosquitoes. You need a good night's sleep. Yeah. Whenever people ask for the, the here's the here's my here's my like personal um, operating standards. If people ask for a healing potion, I don't charge extra. If they ask for a sleeping potion, I don't charge extra. Because I, I totally get it. I've been there. We've all been there when, like, sometimes you just can't sleep. I'm like, you know what, dude? Here you go. Just take it. I'll charge you the price on the on the bottle. A cream that you can use on a neck to prevent a vampire from biting its stench. <laughs> Is this stone skin again? It makes sense, I guess. Because, like, yeah, they can't bite you if your skin is, like, hard. Ah, crap. This era is from the old ages. It's like, it, like, when is this game set? I'd say this is like the, the high medieval era, judging by like their clothes. So like the um, 1300s, 1400s, so the 14th, 15th century, something like that. It's, I don't think it's the Renaissance. Um, alchemy, I think, as a practice, mostly had gone away by the Renaissance because people actually started to understand the world a bit better. So it's probably like the, I'd say probably the high medieval era. So like 13, 1400s. We'll say it's somewhere in the 14th century. Oh, I never grabbed my ingredients, bro. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff here that I could have just missed out on. I'd sleep. The medieval era, yeah. But the medieval area, you have to keep in mind, is divided into, like, um, a bunch of parts. Like, there's the, you know, quote-unquote, the Dark Ages. Um, I need some glue. That's a very simple request. I respect that a lot. And just because you were so straightforward, you can have it for cheaper. Potion of Lightning, that's easy enough. Unless your name is Benjamin Franklin, you're not getting a discount on that. Uh, protection against lightning. Wasn't that interesting? That last person said, hey, I need a lightning potion. This person's like, I need some protection against lightning. They're both wizards, so they might be, like, dueling or something. They just didn't want to tell me. You want to be as quick as a turtle? It's just them asking for a swiftness potion. Yeah, if you're wondering why you're giving, like, discounts sometimes, it gives you more popularity if you give discounts. Or not discounts, if you just don't charge them the full price. I'm gonna buy, like, tons of stuff here. These bananas kind of suck, so I'm not actually gonna buy a lot of them. I will buy all of these, though. Buy all of these, and I'll buy all of these. But the bananas aren't worth buying. It's, like, such a crappy, um, recipe, honestly. It's the Dark Age because there's Plague Doctors and Witches. I mean, Plague Doctors were... Yeah, but if, if there are Plague Doctors, that would definitely put this in the 1400s. That's around the time when the, the plague was around, right? I, I have studied um, quite a bit of history for those who know me personally. And I do have a particular penchant for this sort of error. Invisibility. I'm a big fan of the, uh, like, sort of medieval renaissance type era. I love that sort of history. It's great stuff. Oops. It started, actually, from playing, uh, video games. My, my interest in history in general has actually just come from video games. I'm now a master alchemist. Level 11. Does this actually help me at all? I'm pretty sure that... All it did was it increased the penalty for rejecting a customer. <laughs> Which, you know, it's like, gee, thanks. <laughs> Question to help you fly, bro. Everyone wants everyone wants to fly today, man. What what am I short on in this flight ingredient? 
bloody fluff booms, dude. You're afraid of using nails. Do you have anything that can replace it? Probably glue. And I will charge you extra this because you went straight up like that last bit. Just said, I want glue. What is with people in sniffing glue? Has anybody in the chat sniffed glue before? Like, what's the appeal? If you're willing to out yourself, that is. Oh, you need a potion. Monsters that breathe fire and ice, they spit poison and acid and shoot lightning. There you go. Oh, I'll take that. That's at a hefty discount. Says Azure Fang. Is that you admitting it or? Ah, uh, you want a charm crystal. That's a charm potion, sorry. Nice. You want to win the Trust of Kunals? Can you enchant them? It's a charm potion. Yeah, but what's, what's the appeal? Like, what do you get out of doing that? That's like the, the primary part of the question. Like, what, 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 what's the point? Um, I have a way of making it cooler inside the bar. Boss potion. some of these because I don't have a lot of these. Grab some of these because they're on discount. Ah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am completely botching this. Oh. <laughs> I've never had a haggle go that bad. There you go. Sometimes you just, you just lose the rhythm. You're missing so much. Yeah, I know. I, I just completely flubbed that. I just couldn't, I just couldn't get into the rhythm. Lock on my front door is stuck. I have a potion of acid, sir. That was painful to watch. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but I'm making up for it now. Like, every now and then, it's the same thing happens whenever it's like a rhythm game type thing. Sometimes I just, I get in the, the zone of being bad. <laughs> Protection against lightning. Okay, I can do that for you. Here you go. quite my full value from that, but that's fine. Alrighty. I think we might wrap it up there. 
seems like a good place to leave it. Let's sleep, start the new day, and then save and finish up. Two hours is always a good length for a, for a potion craft stream. Because you can tell I'm starting to lose it a little bit because I uh, completely screwed up that uh, um, that mini game, and I was getting a bit sloppy even after on, on the ones after that. So definitely time to take a little bit of a break. But yeah, potion craft's fantastic. It's getting better and better each time. I think. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of this uh, next week. So we'll probably finish chapter six next week, I reckon. So we'll we'll do the um, we'll create the albedo. Uh, so we can progress. So that should be fun. Um, and keep making money. How much money do we have? We actually have a lot of money. We've got 45,000. That's crazy. I probably should even just start buying, like, the stuff that's not discounted. Like, in larger amounts. Stuff that I need. I need more mushrooms. And I need more, um, fluff blooms. There's the two ingredients that, like, I, I, I can recognize right now. I need, I need more of those. Uh, but yes, so that'll be it. So thank you for joining me once again. You're jealous of the amount of money I have. It just takes it just takes time. It takes practice. You have to keep in mind. I played what is it like forty something days. Um, forty eight days. It's the forty eighth day. You just have to play. You just have to play more. It's a struggle early on for sure. Once you get the ball rolling, it becomes a lot easier. But like I said, the key thing is you want to get your popularity rating up. Like, look, I get 40% of the price of my potions, and I get 100% more profit for my potions. So I get 140% extra money for my potions. If it would have normally costed 100, at like at the start of the game, I get 240 now. That's just base, and that's before um, haggling. So think of it like that. You just need to focus on those two things, popularity and trading. If you can get those down pat, you're, you're, you're set. All hail the game genius. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a genius. Uh, but thank you, it's very kind of you to say. Um, but that'll be where we wrap it up for this week. So we'll definitely be back for more Potion Craft next week, probably finishing Chapter 6, maybe even uh, working through Chapter 7. I don't know how long Chapter 7 is going to be, how much stuff we have to do, but yeah. Um, thank you for joining me as always, and I'll catch you at the next Potion Craft stream. Bye-bye.